Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to get the best quality out of your Instagram videos because I'm sure you know by now that Instagram is switching and uh, promoting very much the video side of things because it wants to compete with other platforms like TikTok and YouTube but it also has a way of drastically reducing the quality of your videos. So I found the best way of bypassing that is by using Premiere Pro to export and render your videos because the most important thing you can do is change the export bitrate and that's going to bypass the Instagram algorithm and uh, it won't render it again and lower the quality and I'm going to show you because nobody likes a long video and I'm sure you want to get your content out there as soon as possible. Let's get right into it. So let's talk a bit about resolution and screen orientation. To target the best Instagram aspect quality, I recommend for Reels and IGTV a 9 by 16 aspect ratio with a resolution of 1080 by 920. For feed videos, a 4 by 5 aspect ratio and a 1080 by 1350 resolution. And for horizontal IGTV videos, an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Okay, so now we're in Premiere Pro and the first thing we must do is import our footage. I will just import one to show you what I'm talking about and then we'll create a new sequence. I made three presets here because it's the easiest and most convenient way I found. Uh, and as you see, IGTV horizontal, 1920 by 1080. It's IGTV and real vertical because uh, it's the same thing, uh, either it's IGTV or real, it will have the same uh, resolution. And then for feed videos, it's uh, 4x5, 1080 by 1350 You can create your own presets and I will show you how to do that. It doesn't matter which preset you choose that's already, exi already existent because you're gonna edit it. So this is our first preset, IGTV Horizontal. You're gonna type in here 1920 by 1080 The thing you must pay attention to is uh, your frame rate because as you can see my clip is 23 976 frames per second and then if it's not the same uh, frame per second you must change it here so it's the same frame rate because Premiere Pro will either skip frames or create frames if it's not the same frame rate as your clip uh, the sequence and uh, it will create artifacts in that case okay so now for the second sequence preset the IGTV and real one. It's the frame size. It's 1080 by 1920, and the same thing. You only have to adjust the frames per second. And when you're ready to save the preset, you just click on Save Preset and just uh, type in a name that uh, you will remember easily. And then for Instagram feed 4x5, it's uh, 1080 by 1350, and the same thing. Adjust time base and display format to the frame rate you're working with. So it's the same. Okay, so I'm gonna make a reel with my video. I'm gonna click OK on the reel preset and then I'm gonna drag the video to the timeline. I'm gonna click Keep Existing Settings. It's telling me that my clip is not the same resolution as the sequence settings and this is because it was filmed horizontally. And then I'm gonna go to Effect Controls and I'm gonna scale it up so it fills all the frame and then by using the position sliders I'm gonna frame it better and this is it I'm not going to go of course I'm gonna I'm gonna have to grade it a bit but that's not part of this tutorial and you are ready to go okay so now we are ready to export our sequence and it took me a while to figure out the best export settings. So you won't have to do that. It took a lot of trial and error and studying the way uh, the image is rendered. And uh, all of this is uh, based considering on losing the least amount of quality and gaining the best quality image you can on Instagram. You just go to your export settings. and But first, 
make sure your uh, sequence is selected, then go to File, Export, and Media, or press Control M on Windows, Command M on a Mac. First thing, choose H.264, and then for preset, match source high bitrate. Then make sure to set the name of your file. Make sure export video and export audio is checked. Then go to the video tab and we'll, we'll just have to adjust a few settings here. Check render at maximum depth and then uncheck this box and set it to high. Uncheck this one and choose the level to 4.2. Scroll down to bitrate settings and set it to CBR and bitrate 16. Now you can uh, save it as a preset and you can click on this box save preset and name it in Instagram high quality render. Don't uh, click on save effects or publish settings, just click OK. And now you have it here as a preset. Then before rendering it out, also click this box, use maximum render quality. And then I uh, choose to click on Q, not on export, because this is going to be using Adobe Media Encoder. And while it's rendering the file, you can also work on other projects. You won't be stuck looking at the render screen. Now you can just uh, click on the output file and it will take you exactly to the file you just rendered. And I'm going to show you how it looks on the screen of my phone. And of course I didn't post this because it's not finished, but as you can see it looks great and uh, there are many details that are not lost and there are no artifacts in the image. Also, this is a perfect example because there are lots of fast moving fine details that are perfectly rendered and also the sunset doesn't show any bending at all. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe. See you next time.